there is virtually no place for an entrepreneur to go for financial help other than family or a friend that would want to invest in their idea. No bank, no organization that I know of. I mean, sure, there's billions of different organizations out there in the world, but I can't contact them all. They're not all going to listen to me. So maybe there is one or two that would, you know, help me out. But the fact of the matter is I probably won't be able to find them, and they won't, probably won't be able to find me. Um, but my point is, What's my point? I just, I'm sitting here thinking, it's only up to me. I'm the only person that can drive my success. I am the only person that has the passion and knowledge that I will succeed. Um, I don't have to prove myself to myself because I know what my capability is. I know how resourceful I am. I know how intelligent I am. I have great common sense. I have great business sense. And I'm I'm self-taught. Uh, I've never been to, you know, like I got my diploma. I, I went to, you know, uh, a trade school or junior college um, like four different times, to be honest. Um, quit every single time, whether it's because... Um, it costs too much money, even though it's pretty much free. But, I mean, the books are just retarded. $100 a, a book. <sighs> what freaking book costs $100 in the real world, man? Jeez. Anyway, the other reason why I quit was because it's just a waste of my damn time. <sighs> why am I going to spend eight hours a day for like four or two or four years for what? <laughs> Having a degree doesn't mean a damn thing. How many, listen, how many people do you know personally that have a degree, whether they just graduated or they graduated 10 years ago, are they in that profession? No. They're, you know, a manager at a store or a restaurant or they went to their family business because they couldn't find a job or because whatever the reason is, I literally do not know anyone. Like one of my former employers, he was... Um, he went to uh, college in Vegas for uh, restaurant business, hotel management type deal, and he never got a job in there after that. He actually he started his own business, uh, two of them. Right now he's on his second one, maybe his third. He's a smart guy, sales-driven, um, churchgoer, um, arms lover. Uh, he's a he's a cool guy, but he certainly did not go to the restaurant or hotel business. I mean, going to school, in my personal opinion, is a waste of goddamn time. It's a waste of money, and money is not... You don't have a bucket full of money at all times. I mean, you can't just waste your damn money, man. Not me personally. I don't know anybody myself that that has just a bucket full of money at any time. Um, Sure, I know some people who, you know, their parents have a hell of money. They have small businesses or big businesses or wineries or software companies or, you know, so they're set, man. Uh, Good for their parents. Um, For them, earn your damn keep. It doesn't seem, uh, that's a whole different argument. Because if I, if I had, you know, a billion dollars and I had a kid, I would totally, you know, take care of him. I would not buy him a car when he turns 14. I would not buy him a house when he turns 18. I would not spoil the dumbass. He would earn every dime. He would have chores. He would respect uh, his parents. He would respect his um, his uh, girlfriends, his, his family, his friends. He would go to college if he wants. Um... I would pay maybe half to help him out. Uh, I would not pay the whole damn thing. No free rides at all. No free rides at all. If you have a free ride in life, 
not only do you not appreciate your life, you don't appreciate a damn thing you have. You don't know what accomplishment means. You can only accomplish something when you do something yourself. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to better myself, my life. After being unemployed for 13 months straight, which in part was my was my uh, problem because I wasn't unemployed, um, but uh, I got free money from the state, you know, unemployment. So why should I look for a job when I'm already getting paid? You know, luckily I wasn't in a situation where I didn't have to pay, you know, a, a shitload of rent, so I was doing okay. This also allowed me the time to figure out what I should be doing with my damn life. You know, mid-20s, uh, no college degree, no money saved up, because in my generation, you work your ass off, and, you know, that doesn't really mean anything unless you have, you know, a real keen ability to save every single dime. Um, I could have done better. Definitely could have done better. I never bought any luxuries. Uh, the only cars I've ever purchased were, you know, I bought myself uh, used cars. Uh, I had a, a big old Bronco uh, for my first car. Really excited about it. Loved it. But uh, I bought it from a person who screwed me over. Um, anyway, I bought my second car, which I have now. I love it to death. Very reliable. It's a Toyota. Um, no problems at all. Very thankful for it. I take care of her, she takes care of me. That's how it is. Um, you know, I'm going off with a hand in here. Just thinking, you know. And it's good that I'm doing these audio blogs and this blog because it's really mainly for me to read, to put my thoughts out there and just let myself know that, you know, I'm active, I'm positive, I'm capable. I literally enjoy what I'm doing. I'm turning my passion into my profession. And it is hard work, but I enjoy hard work. I enjoy earning every dime I get. I'm going to enjoy that house that I can afford. I'm going to enjoy that first million I earn. Okay? Because I'm going to appreciate it. I know what it took. I don't want handouts. I wouldn't mind a loan to help me out. I'll pay that person back, but only when I have, you know, a business plan together, which I finally do. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens uh, once I get big and financially comfortable. That's all I want to be is financially comfortable. Then, you know, we'll see what's cracking. Uh... That's about it. I hit the gym. It's like 9 in the morning or 8.30 or something. It's pretty early. So I hit the gym, got a meeting, and that's about it. Take care. You have a good day. All right, bye-bye.